What's up guys, Raimi here with Soya Quilting. I am Brody and Tiankum's little sister, and last week I made this quilt, and they asked me if I would be willing to make the YouTube video on it. Obviously, I said yes, and I'm here today, and I'm very excited. The quilt I'm gonna show you how to make today is called the Stair Stack Quilt. Now, as you can see in the one behind me, I used our exclusive Civil War jelly roll, and the quilt that I'm going to be making in our video today is another one of our exclusive jelly rolls made out of purple and blue and green batiks. We're now going to dive into the cutting instructions, so let's get started. You're first going to separate 22 strips from your jelly roll. These are the 22 strips you will be using in your quilt today. Once you have all of those separated, we can start cutting. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take each of your strips and cut six six and a half inch rectangles from them. I'm just going to demonstrate that here. Now, once you have all of your strips cut, you can start laying them out in the colors that you want. Once you have all your colors laid out how you like, you're going to take the first rectangle of your second row and the last rectangle of your second row and cut them in half. This will give the offset stair stack look that we're going for. And I'm just going to show you that right over here. You're going to just cut three and a quarter inches in which will end up cutting it right in half. Here. Now that everything's cut, I'm going to show you how to lay out your rows. As you can see, we don't really have blocks, so we're just going to be calling them rows. Now you're going to take your rectangles and start laying them out on your design board, table, or whatever you're going to be using for this. As you can see, I'm only working with two rows here. This is just for convenience of being able to see it. When you're laying them out for the quilt, there will be three rows down. All right, so now you can see we've started the stair step pattern and you're going to repeat this for 11 rectangles long and three rectangles down. Now that I have things laid out, I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and start sewing together all of the rectangles. I've taken my first row and set up next to my sewing machine and we're going to be sewing the rectangles end to end, right sides together. Now we're going to add the next rectangle on, end to end, following with our pattern. Now we're just going to continue the process and I'll meet you back here. Now that I've completed my first row, I'm going to take it to the ironing board and move on to my second and third rows, and we'll meet you back here. After we have sewn and ironed our sub rows, we can now start sewing them to each other, and I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to take your top row and flip it onto your second row, lining up right sides together, and sew down your top seam. Now that we have our first two sub rows sewn together, we're going to take it over to the ironing board and then sew on our third row exactly the same way as we did the first two. And just like the first two rows, we're going to flip our top sub row down onto our bottom sub row and sew along that top edge. Now that we have finished our first row, I'm going to show you how to trim up the edge, and then we're going to repeat this three more times for a total of four stair stack rows. 
to trim it, all you're going to do is line up your middle row with your mat and just give it a nice straight trim cutting off a little bit of the first and last rows. Now that we're done with our stair stack rows, we're going to move on to the background and accent pieces. I have already gone ahead and cut these and those instructions will be in the pattern below. I'm going to show you how to lay these out. So first you're going to take your background fabric, lay it out, your accent fabric will be next, lay that just below it, and then you're going to lay another strip of your background fabric down. Before we sew anything to our stair stack rows, we're going to sew these substrips together. You're going to take your bottom row and sew it to your next row using a quarter inch seam allowance. I've sewn these two together and now I'm just going to sew on the next background piece. Now that I finished with my background and accent rows, we're going to lay these down with our stair stack rows. As you can see, they're coming together quite nicely and we just have a few more seams to go. So we're going to flip our stair stack row over, right side together with our background piece and sew a quarter inch seam down. Now that we're done with our first two rows, we're going to repeat this exact same process for the rest of the quilt. As you can see, this piece I'm holding here is going to be the top, and it's going to repeat down the whole entire length of the quilt. I'm going to go ahead and sew this together, and we'll meet right back. I've got most of my rows completed, and now I'm just going to sew on my final row. As you can see, we're going to do the same process and just lay it right sides together, and we're ready to sew. I've just finished my last row and I want to show you how it turned out. Now I'm going to take this quilt across the building to our in-house long armor and get it quilted. As always, the instructions to make this quilt will be in the description below, as well as links to buy our exclusive jelly rolls. If you've liked this video, hit the like button and share it with your friends. My name's Raimi, teaching you how to sew like a pro, and we'll see you next time at Sew Ya Quilting.